When most of us think about cloth diapers as really not a pretty picture, <laughs> but in today's Moms in the Morning, Karin shows us that cloth diapers have changed a lot over the years. Charlotte, they are cost effective, they're environmentally friendly, and they're trendy now too. And I got the chance to learn more about this growing craze and what I learned may surprise you. It's almost a little underground addiction. That addiction is cloth diapering. So they've evolved into a pre-fold diaper? It started out as a way to cut costs for Nikki Maynard and her family and has grown into a very successful business. I tried making my own. I mean, I tried everything to cut costs. And I just found what worked the best and stuck with it. On average, parents using disposables can expect to pay over $2,000 while their child is in diapers. On the other hand, cloth diapers can cost much less. We can get you set up comfortably for two to four hundred dollars. There is an upfront cost and that's hard to get over but if you look at the long-term expenses of cloth diapers versus disposable diapers you save a lot of money. Besides saving money, new mom Jess Omdahl has another reason for using cloth diapers with her four-month-old daughter Addison. We ended up switching because she was having some problems with diaper rash. It's nice to have an all-natural product against your child's bottom. Jess has found a lot she likes about cloth diapering. She's not breaking out in her rashes anymore. The cost of it, it's a lot, you know, less expensive. They're cute. There's a lot of really cute patterns. The idea of cloth diapers can gross some people out. But diapers have come a long way in the past few decades. They have become a colorful and exciting baby accessory. People think it's the square cotton pin, you know, diaper with the pins and the rubber pants and it's not anymore swishing in the toilet. It's not. It's easy. It took a little bit of getting used to because you can't, when you're out and about, you can't just throw away the cloth diapers. So you need to have, you know, a bag that you can put your diapers in. In fact, there are many tools to make diapering a little easier. Another bonus, the cloth diapers are one size fits all. It's a one size cover so you can see it open so it starts from birth and we have had it on a six pound baby and it fit and okay. it, we've had it on a 35 pound baby so it really does so it grows when you're finished with your disposables they get thrown away but when you're through with cloth you can see a return on your investment this is a new trend is selling your used diapers you can they hold their value you can sell them for probably half of what you bought them for even more if you're wondering about how to get started with cloth diapering, Nikki teaches a free class called Cloth Diapers 101. And to find out more about the class as well as her diaper selection, go to Nikki'sDiapers.com or MySwimBaby.com. And you can also visit her store, Nikki's Diapers, on North High Point Road in Madison. So how does one clean a cloth diaper then? Well, this is kind of what sold me on cloth diapering. They have... Um, one option is to put kind of a rice paper layer inside the diaper. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a paper towel. Okay. And so when the baby poos, mm -hmm. you can just lift that up okay. and, and throw that away. That. Okay. Otherwise, there's also attachments that, that fit onto your toilet to spray them down, okay. kind of like a bidet, mm -hmm. or other options like that. So it's not the messy Cause cleaning you that you our think of. Work hands in the toilet and right and, like and you don't, like, don't have to do that, that. Okay. no nope. if you don't want to touch mm -hmm. it there are options that make it make it so you don't have to touch it okay <laughs> all right thank you very much you're Karen. welcome